Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to model an absorption chiller for an educational building. So let's get started. We go to new transis new project. Okay, go to HVAC absorption chiller type one zero seven. And uh, we also need to open its documentation. So to see transis documentation and mathematical references. I want this um, single filter hot water fired absorption chiller. So, okay, this cube remove is the our cooling load. Let's open here. We need to open external files and the performance curves. So, fraction of design load is from 0 to 1, chill water set point temperature from 5.5 to 10, and then cooling water temperature 26 to 32, and hot water temperature 108 to 116. These are the default values you can change if you want according to your chiller uh, specification. So, first we will calculate, we already know that. Uh, the cooling load is about 298 kilowatt. So we know the CP of water. Chill water in we will use 12.22 and chill water set is 6.66 like here 6.66. Okay, and uh, from here we can calculate the mass flow rate of chilled water. So 46,243. Go here, chilled water. Chilled water and regular is okay. Then next we have to is the tap design load Q remove is our cooling load 298 kilowatt and capacity weighted so capacity weighted is given here we will kilowatt 1494.44 we will not change that and we also know the COP so we will calculate the F design load it comes out to be 0 0.2 298 divided by 14 Next, we will then calculate how much heat is required at the generator. And for that, we need capacity rated. We know that we know COP and we need to find design energy input. So, we go to this file. So, at load 0. And here we will use 0.26667 chill water temperature, 29.4 for cooling water, and this 1108 is the hot water temperature. So at this point, the design energy input fraction is 0 0.2 so we, we already know this green water this from the from this file we take these values at design energy input 0 0.2 we know the COP so we calculate the Q hot water which comes out to be 562 kilo per Okay, now we need to calculate the mass flow rate of hot water. So, we will use this equation. We know the hot water in, and it will go, it will enter at 108.89 and leave the chiller at 98. So, we take 10 degree temperature difference. 
we know the CP, we know the Q hot water, so mass flow rate of hot water is 48 into 4. 48 4 to 4. Okay, so we set point okay. Next. Next we need to determine Q cooling water. So it is equal to Q of chilled water plus Q hot water plus Q of degree. Us this is zero, we are not taking a degree. So we calculate the Q cooling water, we know these two. So Q cooling water comes out to be 860 kilowatt. So the cooling water in to uh, in in the cooling water inlet is 29.44 and it will come out at 34.44. So from the equation we can calculate the mass of cooling water. So like this we can calculate the mass of cooling water 14817. 148, 179 and this is 29144 Okay, 12, this is okay Hot water in the temperature is 108489 Okay, everything is okay Okay now we will use online plotter chilled water cooling water use And hot water. September or it's summer. If you don't know you can check here. January is from 0 to 744, April from 2160 to 2080 and December 80 to 8760. So okay save it. And run the simulation. He cooled out 34 and he got out 98.8. So they are good. Let's add the cooling load. So we go loads and structures, flow stream loads of the fuel 686. 682. So the chill water come from the chiller to the load. Inlet temperature, inlet flow rate, 
We'll go back to the chiller.
fully load broken. Yes. See, this is our cooling door looks uh, real like 1.08, which is uh, almost same as our 298 lower. And then we check the detail in and detail it out. Let's take one. Detailed in the now 6.6 and detailed in is the changes in the time so 11 per 11 per so it's working perfectly well looks good so this is the first part, we will stop here, in the next video we will add the other components, until then have a good day, take care, bye.